that we've never taken a dime of government money. So I'm not I'm not in Washington asking for anything. I'm just kind of delivering a message. Um, we're a we're a, an example, I think, of the how the free market really can work in medicine, and it's very exciting. I've never been. I was telling uh, our representative James Lankford last night. I've never been more excited about about the practice of medicine than I am now because I think that we really are on the brink of uh, in in Oklahoma City and at my facility of introducing some real uh, pricing honesty, uh, and it's it's really caused some shock waves. Uh, and that's why I'm here. Um, we, from our first day in 1997, we um, adopted an honesty and pricing sort of sort of model, um, and it didn't take long before we realized, after hearing from patients that had had surgery at other places, that we were most of the time 80 percent less than our big hospital competitors across town, and and many times, ten times less. Um, and we were making money. I mean, our fees were set such that we weren't losing money. Um, then the horse trading started because we have a lot of uninsured people in Oklahoma. And so the word got around and if somebody didn't have insurance and they need their gallbladder taken out, they would call us and I would tell them, well, this is how much it is. And they would pay us and off we go. And it would be, you know, a forty or $50,000 operation across town and it would be 5000 at our place. And that would pay the surgeon, the anesthesiologist and the facility. And we were making money. So um, I decided to go to some self-insured companies because we found that we were locked out of a lot of insurance plans. The big insurance companies did not want their patients coming to our facility. And, and I, I mean, I, I founded this facility because I hated the hospitals where I worked. I hated the way they treated the patients. I hated the way they treated me. I hated the way they treated the surgeons. And I just thought I can do this better or I can complain about it the rest of my career. So we, my anesthesia partner and I, we just invited surgeons that were the best guys in town. I mean, they were the best surgeons in the whole area. And it, so it was a very, it was like a club. It was just a very, very limited group. So the, all of the CEOs of the big companies in Oklahoma City, if they needed surgery, they came to our place. So I had personal relationships with a lot of the guys that ran these big companies. Well, they couldn't understand why like the employees of Devon Energy or Chesapeake Energy couldn't come to my facility because the insurance companies had locked them out. And I thought, well, I'll go to them and say, well, how much are you paying for a gallbladder surgery or hernia surgery or a rotator cuff surgery out of your self-insured plan because I think I can beat it. And then I thought, well, they're not going to tell me that. I need to tell them what we'll do it for. So I began creating a price list. I called surgeons in and said, how much do you want for a rotator cuff repair? I mean, and it was amazing. Most of the physicians didn't even know. So it was a learning process for them. I'm an anesthesiologist. I basically bill for my time. So I knew what my fees were. I knew what every surgeon in that facility spent in terms of supplies if they did a hernia or gallbladder or a rotator cuff or an anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. So I had all the data and it was extremely hard, but I put it together and we had a price list and I thought, okay, now I'm ready to show and just go over the heads of the insurance companies and go directly to the large employers and say, this is what we'll do it for. And then I thought, now let's tell everybody. So I opened a website and <clears throat> put the prices online. And the results have just, I had no idea. Um, I, I mean, to this day, I look back and I can't, I couldn't have fathomed what sort of shockwave that was going to send. The first thing that happened was Canadians started coming to Oklahoma City to have their surgery because they were tired of waiting in line. Mm -hmm. um, and you're right, they have, in Canada, the guarantee is a guarantee for a place in line. That's okay. that Access to the queue. Access to the queue is exactly yeah. right. So Canadians were coming down um, having surgery, and I was telling them a price, and the prices were so low. They thought, oh, my gosh, that's, that's as low as the price in India I was looking at. And so they began to even wonder if we were legit. Um, then the uninsured 
patients uh, in surrounding states started to come. And then the uninsured patients in California and Florida and Alaska and Maine started to come. Uh, and then the people that had ten or $20,000 deductible policies, then the people with HSAs, and the website started to really gain some traction. And then I started a blog, and oh my word, that's just consumed me. And now there are people retweeting AAPS, retweets the blog, and I'm talking about some of the things I've discovered by putting prices online and posting prices. Um, now what's happened is the big companies that I was trying to communicate with have now gone to their insurance carriers, the big boys, and have said, you have to deal with this outfit or we're going to find somebody else to administer our, our uh, third party be our TPA, be our third party administrator. So, and the other thing, I mean, that's happened is the prices in Oklahoma City for for uninsured patients at the local hospitals have actually dropped too. We actually had a case, we've had two cases now, where a patient was quoted by a large hospital to the dollar what our website price was for a case. And this is not a hospital known for providing good deals. Um, but they quoted, this patient came and said, well, I want to come to your facility, help me find the surgeon. And, and I said, where else have you looked? Well, I looked at this hospital in this other, in Oklahoma City. And well, what did they quote you? Well, they quoted me $5,665. And I said, well, that's an odd amount, you know, as I'm looking at my price list. And there it is. And I said, for what procedure? And he told me it's exactly our price. So it's, <coughs> it just doesn't take much of a, kind of a free market nudge for everybody else to have to respond to the competition. Um, but the big insurance companies, the big hospitals are, are really feeling the pinch of our having put the prices out. So that, that's kind of our story. Yeah. It's a, I mean, it 